All right, so I feel like I gotta help some people explain this game. All right, so never mind the character. Okay, what we need to be focusing on is the gameplay, the story, and the type of game this is going to be. The first Ghost of Tsushima was really, really good. The game was was done so well, was so beautiful, to the point to where like if I if I was drawing or something or sitting doing something, I would literally run with Jen up to somewhere like a mountain or something and just let the game just play like legit that's how great that game really was man and then it offered a lot of gameplay like there was islands that was opening up and opening up as i'm playing i'm just like wow there's more and nothing in a negative way like wow i can't wait to go over there and see what else is over there <laughs> um so this game is going to offer that it's going to offer that same experience just even more with more detail and probably more story and everything else too so play the game if you're into samurai stuff if you're into japanese lore and all that definitely check this game out like the first one did so well there was different different parts of japan that was really praising the game for for everything that it done like representation and stuff like it it's deeper than just the game man like there's some real heart that goes into the that that has went into this so yeah nothing too it's it's the staple for samurai combat like there is other games that comes out and stuff. Um, oh man, there, there's one that I don't even want to mention that, but it was just highly disappointing. I feel like I was playing a PlayStation Two game, dude, when the combat. I'm just like, well, like, what is this? Like, not even PlayStation Two, like some kind of cheesy PlayStation Three game is what I felt. But anyway, the combat in Ghost of Tsushima puts Samurai Combat like it's it's the framework for every other game after that to come out with. Um, it just plays really well, and and all the styles and everything that he can pick and that you can go into on the fly was just done really well. And it's not like over the top like your Phantom Zero is going to be, or you know, it's not Dark Soulsy either. Dark Soulsy either <laughs> like that, but. The combat is solid it offer it is hard if you want it to be hard and you, there's a lot of different things you can do and it's just it's just hard to explain without like if you have not played it it's just a real smooth samurai experience so definitely check this one out play the first one if you haven't it's still really really good it's got a lot of upgrades that was a a director's edition that came out definitely go check that out and get ready for this one when it comes out next year but yeah i had to put my words in on this because it's hands down going to be good it's a no-brainer purchase just don't charge us a hundred and something dollars for it <laughs> Get in there.